Hello and welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're checking out Assassin's Creed Mirage running on the RX 7900 XT with um, AMD's uh, uh, fluid motion frames. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now we are running this at, let's go ahead and show you what we're settings are. We are running this. Oh, let me get back out there. Uh, you got to go into this one, right? What the heck? Why won't it let me go into the... Why won't it let me go into the menu? Are you kidding me? Let's see. Dang, it won't let me go in, into the menu now for some reason. So we're running this at 4K, max settings, AMD's... Um, FSR2 set to quality and yeah like this frame rate is absolutely incredible almost 200 frames a second at freaking 4k this game is a beast so the only reason I chose 4k with this one is because I'm running it like 90 frames a second uh, regularly with this one so I figured yeah we can do that now if you now if you see like when you pan the camera like you do see a little bit of jitter with that but it's not as it, it's not that much the higher the frame rate the better so this one's actually actually pretty nice now i am running this on my monitor the 1440p monitor um because that gives me a, a lot higher refresh rate Boom. i can't believe how freaking high that is um gameplay still feels pretty dang fluid Let's see, let's get in the water. See, like when you turn the camera, um, not too bad. I'll just go swimming down here a little ways. Just kind of want to get somewhere where I can really look. Now, we are in the outside of Baghdad or whatever. We're just kind of running through. Uh, seeing all the people being at street level just to kind of let you see that like yeah this technology really is pretty good at like making the the overall the image and everything the image quality look pretty good you're not getting a whole lot of uh like shadow or you're not getting like the like what's it called this is this is freaking cool but this is also available on 6,000 series GPUs now. Yeah, that just came out today. We can we can run our uh, Assassin's Creed. We can run all of our games. Any DX D or uh, any any DX11 or DX12 game is gonna be okay with this. Oh, look at that boat over there. That is pretty cool. Oh no, can't run up that wall. Look at, like, the shadowing and stuff. This game... <coughs> this game is looking fairly good. I mean, it's still got a lot of the uh, stuff. I mean, when you look at this one here, this particular game, it kind of reminds me a lot more of um, Assassin's Creed Origins. Almost like some of the, um, like the buildings and stuff might be kind of derived from there. Like, some of these buildings actually look like they are... <laughs> See, like, when you slow down the camera, if you move it slow, you can't even tell that, that fluid motion frames are on. Anybody coming from, like, playing on a console to PC and, and getting to access fluid motion frames, yeah, you're probably going to be okay. Like, this is... This is pretty nice. And I kind of am coming at this from like a console gamer's perspective. Um, played on console for most of my life and now here we are. Uh, playing this on the Xbox Super Series X. I did buy this on the Xbox as well. And I got a video out on the Xbox. Wow, this is bonanas. See, like, if you just pan the camera nice and slow on a controller, it just, it feels good. Like, it does, I mean, look how much, look how much frame gen lag we've got. What, what is that, like, 15 milliseconds? 
Um, my average FPS is, you know, in, in the 90s or whatever, 70s. And then that basically just doubles that um, by giving us, gosh, wasn't there another read, reading on there for, I thought there was something, another one for the uh, micro stutter rate. Okay, yeah, we got that right there, the micro stutter rate, um, average frame time. See, the higher the frame rate with this, the better it actually um, it actually feels. So, like, in terms of, like, fluidity and stuff in the controls, it feels, it feels good. I mean, if you were playing this at 100 and, uh, you know, like 100, like 200 frames a second normally... I mean, that's just insane. All right, let me see if I can get into this menu system again. I don't know how to get into the menu. It's telling me... Let's see, is there like a menu? Dang it. Hold on, maybe if I hold that button and uh, try to go over there with no, that's not gonna work. I don't know why. Oh, I see. Let me go into the. Okay, like it's not letting me go into the menu. So 4K resolution, uh, max settings, with, um, uh, which one call it? With AMD's uh, fluid motion frames. This actually looks pretty dang good. And it feels pretty smooth too when like you're running, you're going through here and you can see across the the screen and everything. Like this absolutely looks beautiful. It like it's so smooth, it just feels like it's going so slow. I don't know why every time I decide to record a video, the kids have got to start being a lot more noisy. <laughs> Almost every single time. Yeah, this feels just as good as playing it with like native, with native controls and native resolution. It it always just kind of feels better on the controller to me. You know, like if you're if you're using the mouse. So yeah, it's not too bad on this one. This is awesome. This is some awesome freaking... Gosh, dude, I can't believe how many freaking Assassin's Creed games there are now. I own every single one of them. That's so awesome. Oh, you know what I need to try? Unity. Assassin's Creed Unity. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Whoa, dude, why would you jump that far, boss? Bassin. Really like this. Yeah, this this uh, fluid motion frames is absolutely incredible. The only time you really see it like freak out is when you get like way down in. in the frame rate. I feel like. Come on, climb up there, buddy. Ooh, that's a restricted area. Oh no. 
Yeah, if we get some of these guys running ah. after us, then we'll find out. Let's get some of them going, man. Oh shoot, I pushed the wrong button. Freaking. Can deflect their arrows too? Dude, that is freaking pretty awesome. Yeah, this freaking game runs pretty dang good. Pretty awesome with that. I mean, like, look at the regular frame times, though. I mean, you're looking at... I know you don't get angry often, but... Oh, see, look at there going yellow while I'm running. Oh, that's like the first game. This is freaking great. The Great Mosque. Wait, is that the place that... Yeah, this is like my old home. This is my old stomping grounds. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, the Iron Gate. We can go back out here. Let's check this out. Out here in the fields and stuff again. Get some of that... Freaking see it's like all smoky in town, but out here it's all like beautiful with the vegetation and everything. Yeah, I mean if you move the camera fast, like while you're playing and stuff, like like you won't never see that, that juttery stuff. It's only when you move it like this fast right here. But when you're when you're fast and you're playing, yeah, you don't even notice it, so yeah, I mean, most people will probably be okay with this. Um, not noticing any screen tearing at all on this monitor whatsoever. The, the image quality is just nice and clean. Let me turn off the fluid motion frames. Let's go in here, and then I'll show you guys what that looks like with that without it on so then when you turn it off now it's just completely off oh wait now let's see if I can go into the menu no it won't let me enter the menu still the freak all right whatever see like with it off you're you're like in a in the hundreds or whatever but then when we go back into it we get it back on boop oh shoot I turned it on and off because you can like turn up the sharpen effect too you can go all the way up here to like Let's try 40. Let's see how that looks. You can get a little bit more sharpness. Try to go spinning it and stuff. Wow, that there. <laughs> yeah. This, this technology is almost like, wow. It's almost just like, oh yeah, there it is. It's good. Nice, sharp image quality. Very, very nice. Look at how sharp this looks. That just looks so clean. So freaking clean. Wow. Nice. <sighs> I'm gonna try.
try to beat this game this weekend. I mean, it's supposed to be a short one, like 10, 15 hours, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Should be able to do that. Yeah, look at that. No artifacting, nothing. Like, I am not seeing any visual degradation whatsoever while playing with this frame gen, and that is absolutely incredible. As long as you have a freaking fairly high I mean like look you can see the you can see like that right there but once you go fast like when you're spinning the camera or, or, like you're playing or whatever you're never gonna notice that you are never gonna notice that unless you unless you stop and, and look for it unless you uh, play around with it because like when you're playing you're not gonna see that you're not even gonna notice that but look how smooth that screen looks just absolutely smooth no flickering no freaking stuttering nothing just absolutely freaking smooth gameplay all the way through let's see how far we can run out here in the desert before we get stuck by like sorry you cannot progress because this is actually a pretty small map this is not going to be a big one, so like, let's get out here and the. I can't say that. Whoa! Look at that. There's another building over there. Let's run through the sand. The sand quality in this is very, very nice. This actually makes me feel like I'm playing Assassin's Creed freaking Origins. Just a much better look at like what Assassin's Creed Origins would look like if they up if they updated it for next gen consoles and PC. Wow, look at that. 240 frames. Gosh, dude, that's insane. You like the dust trail? Oh, it's not even that big. I wish that would be a lot longer. I wanna come over here to this. I wanna see what this is. thing okay like I'm getting a little bit frustrated with this this game here man like I want to be able to climb everything what the freak like can somebody explain to me why in every other Assassin's Creed game you could easily climb this but now we're not we're, we're, we're gonna be stuck not being able to climb things I don't know about that that's gonna make me mad I want to be on top of that. It's like one of my favorite features of Assassin's Creed. Are you really not going to let me climb that? Seriously? Should. Like, there's an eagle freaking thing up there. Like, look at all these bricks right here. You're trying to tell me? Okay, maybe this is where we have to climb it. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, now it's going to have spots that you have to climb. I don't know if I like that. I like to be able to climb wherever I want to. I don't like... That is pretty cool. Like, this is a nice structure. That is very, very cool. That is very cool. I could easily play this game like this. Very nice. <gasps> Yay! We get to go down! Very cool. Very, very cool.
looks like there's two of these guys right here. All these guys like right behind me and stuff. Let's see if I can get them to come out here. So I can actually see them. Gosh dang it. Ooh. Alright, well, I guess that's our video. So if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.